Welcome to another teardown video. Again, we're looking at a temperature heated oven frequency standard. And this is really big. Victron Laboratories made in USA. It's really looking nice. Look at that frequency. So what is the idea? 101.636166. Really? Crazy, crazy number. There's a screw. Is this some sort of an adjustment? And what I see again, B plus, is this, that the heater, right? So we've got a case and then voltage control oscillator input and a voltage control oscillator supply. And again, I need to tell you guys, when you pull stuff like this from equipment, please take a permanent marker and write down the voltages anywhere on the item. Because one day you will be happy about it or somebody else will be happy about it. Now, I have no clue what kind of voltage this is. All right, and I need to start from scratch. Well, well, we are up and running. It wasn't that difficult to figure out. B plus and the VCXO supply just connected them together like that and I cranked up the voltage until the amplitude didn't change anymore and that was at uh, 24 and I give it a few more volts so I'm sure that uh, the internal regulators and stuff will have a few more volts uh, to work from and 28 volts is actually as a standard within uh, old uh, HP electronics and uh, all sorts of products. Also within uh, telecom, uh, 26 and 28 volts is uh, fairly common supp uh, internal supplies. So I'm sure this thing is running off that. Oh, yeah, did we mention the frequency again? 101.636, yada, yada, yada. And look at that. So it is fairly close, right? 6386, 63, oops, yeah. But it is not within um, temperature yet. It is, n it is not in regulation. So it's 5.9 watts. So we need to wait until the, the power consumption goes down. Meanwhile, we can have a look at the sine wave. So you'll see that this is actually a little bit wide. So if I go to single, see, that is a, a much thinner line. So let's play with the with the hold off and go into normal mode. So what you can see here is, ooh, I need to clean the screen. Oh, we better turn off the light, this is bad. But look, the jumpy jumpy like that. This reveals that it's modulated by a lower frequency. It's actually more visible here. And this has something to do with the way that this oscillator is made from multiplication and stuff. See, this is really, really funny. And of course, this is why it is thrown out because this is absolutely useless. This is bad. So now I've been waiting quite a while and power consumption is down to three watts. So that means we have temperature regulation 
going going on here if we wait another hour maybe it will go even further down but the frequency unstable here is still exactly the same so that means something is really bad this thing is sealed by soldering and still since this thing is defect there's no other way than to cut this open we need to see what it consists of maybe we can even repair it I can't use this crazy frequency anyway so I would love to know what kind of frequency is the main oscillator or the crystal running at and what is it what is inside this box all right so let's do the tear down I don't know if I can take a photo of this but that screw look at that there's a rubber gasket in here and if we look real deep in the hole maybe I can turn on some light here let's see yeah Oh, I have an idea. Let's turn off all the light and only use this. Yeah, look. There's a screw deep down there. So you, this is where you do the fine adjustments. Look at that, huh? Pretty cool. Well, let's see if we can do this to cut this open. Yep, this is the tool, right? I want to cut. Cut it like this and see if that is alright. That was not so easy. A little bit of hard work here. Doing the bendy here. There's a lot of isolation material in here. I think it's gonna crack open eventually. I am quite happy to say that I didn't spill any blood getting in okay let's take out the internal parts oh this is oh it's going to be dust and shit i think we need to just take the internal parts back into the lab for further investigations ooh what is that some wow look at that so this is the case with the heater i guess because we got some wires and stuff maybe let me crack this oh what a mess now i'm so happy i did this out here in the dirty lab well look at that so yep there is a temperature sensor here and some wires around a metal box and then all the goody goody stuff is here and we're gonna go and investigate and clean it up a little bit At first, I thought this was heat melt glue, but no, it's just silicon. A lot of hand work here. And the crystal is half the output frequency. So that means there's a Doppler somewhere. Down here is the first transistor. So maybe this is the oscillator. And there's the, the trimmer that you could access from outside via this hole in the inner case. And here is an op amp. And the power transistor to drive the heater is of course mounted out here in the metal where it is measuring the temperature. I think this, it's gotta be that one. That is the temperature sensor. 
So we got a temperature regulator and probably one of the adjustments here is maybe the temperature set point or something. But this one is really, really beautiful made. Oh, look at that one. There's a little scene regulator here, right? So of course there's a voltage regulator for the high frequency part, the oscillator itself and its buffer and the multiplier. This is of course running off a lower voltage, so there's also a voltage regulator. But yeah, as far as I can see we got this one transistor here, two, three, four, the op amp, and five, the power transistor. That is what we got. And the crystal is in a socket. So, thank you for watching, and it was fun to be a vandal for once.